the star of Rocky, Rambo, and The Italian Stallion comes the only 80s action movie to come out in 2010, The Expendables. Before the release of the watered-down PG-13 sequel, revisit the R-rated movie that has all the explosions, guns, and testosterone you crave, and all the plotty, overcomplicated backstory you don't. You remember that time we was up in Bosnia? We took down them Serb bad boys. All our guys were getting chopped up all around us. No one cares. Just shoot a bunch of people already. That's better. Meet the Expendables, a mercenary gang of aging movie stars brought together for one last paycheck. Thrill as the heroes of your youth team up without nearly enough screen time to go around, featuring hours worth of Statham and Stallone, but only two minutes of Willis and Schwarzenegger. He won't be back. Instead of the all-star brawl you were promised on the poster, get ready for showdowns that no one ever asked for, like Jed Lee versus Dolph Lundgren, Steve Austin versus Randy Couture, Colt Couture, and Jason Statham versus a pickup basketball team. We still want to fight all your balls. Suit up with the leader of the Expendables, Barney Ross, a man with a mysterious past and a mysterious color-changing goatee. Watch this killer with a conscience struggle through tough choices to do the right thing. Hey, this is my choice. There's no guilt. There's no guilt. And struggle through Botox to make his face smile. Almost there. You almost got it. Ah. Oh. Ride along on his mission to take down this generically evil CIA agent and this generically evil general to save this generically Latin island nation going through some kind of coup or revolution or something. They wanted me out. Why? Because I saw the big picture. Once again, no one cares. But it's not just boys playing with their toys. Get to know the movie's rich female characters like this helpless hostage, this cheating girlfriend, this random biker skank. Anything for you, baby. You got it. Woo. And, uh, uh that, that's all, I guess. Not a lot of women in this movie. Gear up for a film that seamlessly blends the worst action movie cliches of the last 40 years, featuring heroes who somehow dodge every bullet from the 80s. Corny one-liners from the 90s. Why don't we have dinner? Sure, when? In a thousand years. What do you wear? Size three? Bring it, happy feet! Who sent you? Your hairdresser! Lame CGI blood effects from the 2000s. And lame CGI everything else from today. So get ready to say, huh? in a movie full of Asian, Latin, and European actors who speak English as a second language. Speed, better than the back. Kings are just not worth him on you. he takes his little army. But this setting is up, man. And also Sylvester Stallone. The life has got to him. You know, should be a kind of. When's the last time you saw your analyst? Second account numbers, mine. As a glory, I can't team. Well, you're lucky, man. Is, is that English? Starring Sylvester Steroids, Cranky, Ivan Drunko, the b -b 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 black guy. Lucky to be here. Bruce Will isn't in the movie. Plain Lee, Greasy Gandalf, and Old Man the Barbarian. The Expendables. Man, all I really wanted to see is these guys trade one-liners. I'll be back. You've been back enough. I'll be back. Yippee K. Never mind. Be sure to subscribe for more honest trailers. I am Groot. 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 I am Groot.